In this video, we're going to talk about percent of change and how to calculate it. So the first thing we need to do is talk about the formula. And here it is. It's basically equal to the new value minus the original value divided by the original value multiplied by 100%. So for example, let's say if a number changes from 30 to 42, what is the percent change? The new value is 42. The original value is 30 divided by the original times 100. So that's basically what you need to do. So first, subtract these two numbers. 42 minus 30 is 12. And if you divide 12 by 30, that will give you 0 0.4. 0 0.4 times 100% is 40%. Now notice that this is positive 40%. So because it's positive, it represents a percent increase. Here's another example. Go ahead and calculate the percent change for these two numbers. So starting with the first example, the percent change is going to be equal to the new value, which is 70, minus the original value of 40, divided by the original value, times 100%. So 70 minus 40 is 30. And 30 divided by 40, that's the same as 3 divided by 4. That's equal to 0.75. And if you multiply 0.75 by 100%, this will give you positive 75%. So that represents a percent increase. So let's try the second example. The percent change is going to be the new value, which is 55, minus the original value of 30, divided by the original value, times 100%. 55 minus 30 is 25. And so we have 25 divided by 30. Now let's get the decimal value of that. So if you type in 25 divided by 30 in your calculator, you should get 0.83 repeated. And then multiply that by 100%, and that should give you positive 83.3%. So that too represents a percent increase. So anytime this number is larger than the first one, if the new value exceeds the original value, it will always be a percent increase. This number, your percent change, has to be positive. If it's negative, then it's a percent decrease. And the only time you'll have that is if the new value is less than the original value. So let's say if we have 50 decrease into 40 this is going to be a percent decrease because the new value is less than the original value. Go ahead and calculate the percent change. Now your answer has to be negative. The new value is 40, the original value is 50, and then we need to divide it by the original value and then multiply it by 100%. So 40 minus 50 is negative 10. Negative 10 divided by 50, if we uh, type that in, that's negative 0.2. So if you take negative 0.2 and then multiply it by 100%, you're going to get negative 20%. And so that represents a percent decrease. Let's try some word problems. In 2017, the price of gas in a certain state changed from $2.24 to $2.56. Calculate the percent of change in the price of gas in 2017. So you need to identify the original value and the new value. The original value is 224. The new value is 2.56. So now we can calculate the percent change. It's going to be the new value, which is $2.56 minus the original value of $2.24, divided by the original, times 100%. Notice 
Now we're going to follow the same process. First, we're going to subtract 2.56 by 2.24. And you should get 0.32. And then we're going to divide 0.32 by 2.24. And that will give you 0.1429 if you decide to round it. Then multiply that by 100%. And so this is going to be a percent increase, and it's point, I mean it's 14.29 percent. So that's the percent change or percent increase in the price of gas in 2017 in that state. Number two, John has 2,500 in his savings account. He adds 400 to it in January. Calculate the percent change in the value of his savings account in January. So feel free to take a minute and work on that problem. So we need to identify the new value and the original value. So what is the original value in this problem? The original value is the money that he has in his savings account. It's 2500 Now, what is the new value? in his savings account. It's not 400. Remember, he adds 400 to it. The new value is going to be 2,500 plus 400, or basically 2,900. The 400 is basically the change in the account in January. So now let's calculate the percent change. It's the new value of 2,900 minus the original value of 2,500 divided by the original value times 100%. So 2,900 minus 2,500, that's 400. And let's divide 400 by 2,500. Four hundred divided by 2,500 is 0. 0.16. And if you multiply 0. 0.16 by 100%, you'll get 16%. So this is a percent increase. So his savings account went up by 16% during that month. Here's another one. The population of cats on Island X was 1,500. Next month, the population grew by 250. What is the percent change in the population of cats during that month? So first, we need to identify the original value. So what is the original value in this problem? And also, what is the new value? The original value is the 1,500 cats on a population. Now the population grew by 250, so the new value is 1,500 plus 250, which gives us a new value of 1,750. So we need to use these two numbers in the formula. So now let's calculate the percent change. It's going to be the new value of 1,750 minus the original value of 1,500 which will equate to 250, and then divide it by the original value. So 1750 minus 1500, that is the change. That's the 250 that we had at the beginning. And if we divide that by 1500, that is going to give us, let's see, 0.16. I'm going to round it to 0.167. So this will give us a percent increase of 16.7%. And so that's the answer for this problem. Number four, 500 students registered for a college chemistry course. After the first test, 140 students dropped out of the class. What is the percent change? So in this problem, identify the new value and the original value. The original value, you can clearly see that it's 500 students. The new value is the original value minus the change. 140 students dropped out of the class, so that means that there's only 360 of the 500 original students remaining. So now we can calculate the percent change. 
So the percent change is the new value, which is 360, minus the original value of 500, divided by the original value times 100%. So 360 minus 500, that's 140. But you need to use a negative 140 because the number of students in the class decreased. So negative 140 divided by 500. Let's find the decimal value of that fraction. You should get negative 0.28. And then multiplying it by 100%, we can see that this is a percent decrease because the answer is negative. So it's negative 28%. So that is the percent change in this uh, chemistry course.